Welcome back to my channel, YouTube. Here we are with Waldo. Life with Waldo as usual. And my dog. So, Waldo decided outside was good. He communicated to me that he wanted to come downstairs and then he wanted to go outside. Now, it is winter. And, uh, yeah, that's my cat. You see, Waldo's been accepted by all members of my family. He is, uh not unaccepted by anyone. The cat loves him, the dog loves him, everybody loves him. He's experiencing snow for the first time. So that's what he is doing. Yes, he is quite enjoying it. He's been outside now for 10 minutes and won't come in. Doesn't want to come in. Hey, dog, Dexter, Dexter. Dexter's ignoring me. This is what Dexter does when he doesn't want to come in. Come on. Come here. Come now. Now. Yes. You have to say now. Or he just doesn't bother. Okay, come in here. Okay. So, this is Waldo <laughs> doing his stuff. Yeah, just really enjoying it out here. He just does not want to come in. You can see, oops, the lighting isn't good there. That's my baby guy. Do you want to come in? No. It's like, no. I like it out here. I like the fresh air. I want the fresh air on my bald. Yeah, he's really digging the sunshine, which is good. I mean, you should take your lizards and reptiles outside so they get the sun. Just not in the winter. I have no clue why he's out here and he likes it. So I'm not going to say, hey, you can't, you can't be out here, Waldo. No, he knows his limits. He gets cold, he comes, and actually his shell is actually very warm. I just touched it, and it's warm, so he's enjoying the sun. He is soaking up some sun rays. This is my baby outside. Redfoot tortoises like to be outside. He went on a little adventure this, this summer. He got a free vet check, and uh, he likes walking under the dog, so he's hoping the dog just stands still so he can do that. As you can see, he's accepted by all the pack. The whole pack loves Waldo. They think he's cool. And actually, this little jerk, when he, when I first got him, would clean Waldo's butt. So he really likes that dog. He thinks that dog is a shit. So, because he cleans his shit off his butt and tosses his junk a little bit. So, males, you can tell a male by their tail. Males have tails, and that is their sex organs and their poop and pee thing. Uh, when it starts wagging, uh, that's when you know he's about to poo. Yeah, he's about to do something disgusting on your floor. Yeah, and that's my guy right there. Yeah, so I'll show you his tail because everybody's wondering, how do you tell a male, are you actually going to go in the snow? I wouldn't do that, Mr. Mr. Waldo. It's cold down there. I wouldn't go down there if I were you. No. Here, a butt. So, okay, we'll get close to his butt. Oops. I guess you can't really see it. Oh, there it is. That's his tail right there. It's his little butt. Okay, so females don't have that. They have a concave shell, so, or they have uh, their sex organs in a different area, but uh, that's his. And uh, he's, that's his butt. So that's how you tell male from female, is that there is actually an appendage on the males and not on the females. So I'm going to bring him in just because I'm getting cold. And uh, we'll talk to you later, YouTube. You have a great day. Like and subscribe for more Life with Waldo videos.